Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 28 of Paper Mario. Today we're going to continue on the Toe Town Tunnels here. Uh, we're going to go down here. Uh, we're going to pull out what for this? Uh, we got to be careful for careful because there are enemies uh, that's kind of crappy yeah so you smile you jerk I'll get you anyway uh, yeah we're gonna continue on with the toad town tunnels here but um, at the end um, we're gonna go ahead and turn around uh, not turn around rather uh, there's something we're going to do here. To, uh, there's a guy here that sells stuff. Uh, but we don't have enough money to buy the things that he's selling. So I'm actually going to exit out uh, without buying anything from him. Because we don't even have enough stuff uh, to buy. Uh, hello? I know you're. I know you're there. I don't want to get first striked. Dang it! That's okay. It could be worse. Um. <clears throat> uh. Go ahead. I guess and kill this guy. Yeah. So this guy he sells stuff and he charges uh 64 coins for every item. Great. <clears throat> That's okay. That's okay because uh, we're going to kill this guy with his goofy smile. And we'll kill the other guy in the next turn. No big deal. Okay. Um, so, yeah. What we need to do is finally go into the... Ah. Well, we finally need to go into the playroom that I've been talking about, the little casino, in order to get some coins. So, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, yeah, after probably I heal a little bit. That, uh, that kind of sucked. Oh, well. So, here we find a block that we can't reach. It's too high, even for Mario. And here we have some hidden blocks that we also can't reach. So we'll get to all that at a later point. And here we have a dead end, except it's not really a dead end. It's a bombable wall. Very cool. Okay. I'll probably just go Mario. Okay, so this is the goofy looking guy right here. Um, like I said, he'll sell us some stuff. Uh, like I said, though, I don't have any money. Like, I am very poor because I think we bought some badges recently. And it kind of left us a little destitute. Um, and it takes way more coins than what we have. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go into the casino and play some games. So I'm going to go down into the playroom and show you guys how the games work. Uh, it's right here. There are two games, uh, Smash Attack and Jump Attack. Hey there, Mario. Welcome to the playroom. To play here, you need a member credit. The kind of game you can play depends on the kind of member credit you have. Cool, you have a gold credit. In that case, I'll make a pipe appear that will lead down to both Jump Attack and Smash Attack. Sweet. So we'll go ahead and do both of them. I'll show them both off. And then we'll, I'm going to play until I get some money. Greetings, my good man. This is the floor for jump attack. Give me a second and I'll explain the rules for you. Um, I'm not going to read this. Basically, uh, how this works is we got to get the panels that give us coins without actually touching any of the Bowser panels. Uh, you can do five blocks, seven blocks, or nine blocks. So this is the easiest one, but it gives you the least coins. This is the hardest one, obviously, but as um, as there are more opportunities to win coins, there uh, you get more. You could possibly make more money. 
and if you clear the nine block option, they double your coins. Uh, but I'm actually going to play the seven block, because I think it's a nice uh, middle ground between the two. Get ready to jump attack. So basically, yeah, there are these blocks, uh, and we're just going to hit... Okay, we have six. Hopefully we get a times five. Nope, we got a Bowser. We lose. That's basically the premise of the game. Uh, just keep doing this until you win. Uh, and then I'm going to show you guys... Smash Attack. Go over here to Smash Attack. Uh, basically, I'll explain this one because this one's a... He'll explain it a little weird. Uh, there's going to be a bunch of blocks. And there's going to be either a hidden peach card in them or a uh, bob -omb card or a fuzzy peed. Uh, a fuzzy, sorry, not fuzzy peed, a fuzzy card. Or it's going to be empty. What we need to do is collect 10 peaches. We don't want to hit the bob -omb's and we don't want to hit the fuzzies. There's a one. Okay, that's two. So far, so good. Okay, don't want to hit that one. Definitely not. Okay, I think there was a peach in there. Maybe there wasn't. All right. Kind of come up here. Come on. We're doing pretty well. Ooh. Come on. Please. Give me one more. Come on. Hit the... Oh, I was missing just one. Oh, that stinks. Ah, oh, so close. Anyway, that really stinks. It really does. Oh, well. Um, I'm just going to do this for a bit. Uh, get some coins. And uh, I'll see you guys when I have plenty of money. Okay, uh, I got really, really, really lucky, and in one of the nine block options, I actually cleared the nine block, and I got 600 something coins. So that put me at the coin limit, which is 999, and now we can go back into this weird room in the sewers and see what this guy has got for sale. Well, 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 look at here. Hello, hello, hello. Rip Cheeto at your service. You're quite an enterprising fellow finding this place. What am I doing here? Why, just doing a little business and minding my own. You, my friend, have just stumbled into great fortune, for I have a deal for you. I have something special, and it costs only 64 coins. Deal? Trust me, it's a bargain. And we get ourselves a star piece. Well done, my good man. I thank you deeply. Now, if you thought that item was good, I have something even better at the same price. 64 coins. But I warn you, this offer is only good right now. You'll be kicking yourself if you miss this opportunity. So how about it? Do we have a deal or not? And we're going to go ahead and buy this one. And we're going to go ahead and buy the next one. All right, pump attack badge, not not terrible. Ooh, repel gel, not bad. Get another star piece. We got a super shroom, not great, because those are definitely not worth 64 coins. Oh, we have too much stuff. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, I didn't even think about that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of... I'm going to eat the Super Shroom. Yeah. Okay, let's keep doing this. We got a regular Mushroom, which is trash. 
Go ahead and tell them we'll... Oh, yeah, we, uh, we just established that we had too much stuff. We just did. Uh, let's see. Uh, wrong button? Nope. Oh, let's go ahead. Yeah, let's let's see. <clears throat> He's a merchant by the name of Rip Cheeto. Who knows why he set up here? I guess it doesn't matter. People can sell stuff wherever they want. It's their choice. I actually kind of like it here. It's like a secret fort. It sure is. Go ahead and eat the this. And I'm actually going to go ahead and also eat this other super shroom. Which I don't need. And then let's see what else he has. Ooh, a dried shroom. That is a ripoff. I guess that's why he's called Rip Cheeto. We got another dried shroom, which is trash. We'll go ahead and get... Nope, nope, nope. Go ahead and... Nope, wrong button. Okay, go ahead and get rid of the dry shroom. Uh, yes, a one whole health. Go ahead and get rid of the other dry shroom. Talk to him again. Get herself a star piece. And I think that might be the last one. Let me find out. Yeah, that's it. I think that was it. I think you can get three star pieces from him, and then he'll only sell you dried shrooms. <clears throat> okay, that wasn't terrible. Uh, that could have gone worse. I'm actually going to head over to the nearest general store and deposit some items. Uh, so I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, I've deposited uh, and or sold everything I wanted to get rid of for now. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do kind of two things at once. We're going to go ahead and deliver some letters that we have. We have one for Rusty, and then we have one for Igor over at the Booze Mansion. And uh, here's Rusty. Oh, yeah, I uh, got to switch it out. All right, here we go again. Wow. He, I, I'm sorry, I didn't want to read all that. Are you, you are rusty, correct? Yes. You can go ahead and deliver this letter. Uh, now what could this be about? Hmm, exceedingly strange. It's from Lava Lava Island. Yes, yes, it's a question from a curious kid there. My mind is quite in demand. Thank you, Paracurie. I thank you for your quick delivery. I don't usually accept questions, but oh well. It's from a kid, and we must educate the younger generation. When I was a child, I had a curious mind as well. Still do. I'll get right on the answer. Thanks again for bringing this letter such a long way. Please take this as thanks. <clears throat> okay. Woo. Sorry for the cut. I, uh... <clears throat> quite the coughing fit. Anyways, we got to do some stuff for Koopa Coot. I'm going to use the sewers to warp over to Koopa Village. Okay, um, another <clears throat> another coughing fit. I, I'm just getting over a cold, actually. And so I guess talking is... Um, <clears throat> my throat is not very happy about that. But anyway, I'll see you in Koopa Village. All right. Let's see what he has for us today. Ah, oh, son of a gun. Well, he said he's lost his glasses and he can't see. He doesn't know where he dropped them, but he hasn't been beyond the borders of Koopa Village, so logic suggests that they're somewhere in the village. Could you drop by, uh, what? Could you drop what you're doing and go find them? I have your word, young fella. Yeah, sorry about skipping that particular bit of dialogue. But yes, his glasses. We need to go find them. And while we're here, I do want a Koopa Leaf. Um, and I think the glasses are in this screen. I don't remember which bush. No, that's a, just another Koopa Leaf. Um, I don't need it, but I'll take it. I think they're in this screen. I might have passed them. Oh, there they are. 
Okay, very good. We got the glasses. And we'll go ahead and deliver them. Oh, hopping her plant. You're a master sleuth, Mario. My eyesight's really gone down, uh, really gone downhill these last years. Now I can once again read books without any trouble. Technology's great, isn't it? Here, I'll give you this to show my gratitude. Yeah, it's gonna be one coin. That's okay. Let's do him a favor. Well then, young fella. I've really been dragging my shell recently. You know, tart pick me up. Let's see. Hmm, I know. Ooh, a lime should do the trick. Can you go find one? Hurry up if you could. I feel as slow as a tortoise. Do you promise? Okay, well, we gotta go get him a, a lime. Uh, we might as well do that. And, of course, we know where to get those. Um, why nowhere other than a uh, dry, dry outpost? So, I'm gonna go ahead, run ahead real quick. Get a lime. And while we're in the uh, sewers, I might as well drop by here to deliver the other letter. Uh, this one is to Igor. And if I'm not mistaken, and I'm not, uh, Igor is the boo who sells, uh, who runs the shop. So let's get Paracarry out, actually. I figured it might be easiest to do this now while we were using the warp, uh, the warp pipes. Since we're already down here, uh, am I going the right way? Uh, yes. Yes, here we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, so I think we can talk to him and then back out. And then he'll trigger, okay. Uh, yes, paracarry. Yes, yes, paracarry. A letter? Oh, right, an order list. Weird, this order's from Gusty Gulch. That's just right around the corner. Can't they just come here? Oh, well, my motto is, from boo to you, with a smile. Take this for your trouble. Sweet. Okay, and with that, we're going to head back uh, and give Koopa Koop this lime. But actually, before we do that, I want to grab one last thing that we're going to need. Um, I'm going to head over to Shy Guy's Toy Box, and I'm going to grab a... <clears throat> flower bag from those shy guys in at the end of the first area um, because we're going to need that for a Koopa Koop favor so I will see you guys in a sec got him alright we got our cake mix I don't know why I called it flower I meant cake mix so let's go ahead and get out of here let's go ahead and get taste tea here to cook it up for her, just so we don't have to do this later, we're gonna go ahead and do the cake mix with a Koopa Leaf. Oops, that's not what I meant. No! Oh, that was close. Oh, I gotta be more patient. Okay, cake mix. And Koopa Leaf. Woo! That could have been really bad. And we get a cookie cookie. Okay. And now we really are going to go back to Koopa Village. All right, let's go ahead and give him the lime. By Spiny Spikes. Are you for real, Mario? Mind-blowing crazy. Wow, what a sour lime. That'll put a spring in my step. 
You're a stand-up guy for doing an old Koopa so many favors. This time, I'll give you this special gift of snakes. Three star pieces. Wonderful. Okay. I recently heard about a snack called a Cookie Cookie. It's supposedly delicious. I must confess that I have a sweet tooth. So, do you think you could track one down? One of the ingredients is a Koopa Leaf, but I have no idea what the other one is. Hurry up if you can. I need sweets. Post haste to have your word, young man. Lines Oh, Albino Dinos. You're a world-class Mario. So this is the cookie everyone raves about. It does look good. I think I'll save it for later. I'll give you this gift to show my gratitude. And I think that's the last favor we can do for him now. Yes. Okay. Finally, for today, finally. We're going to be doing Chuck Wismo. We have Chuck Wismo to do, and we're going to be doing it rapid style like we always do. So, let's get started. Question. Who was the second companion to join your team? The answer, of course, is Bombette. That is false. It's Cooper. That was a close one. Question. Who tried to steal coins from you in the desert? Those were the bandits. Question. What is the name of the star spirit who can use Star Storm? Ah, that is Scholar. Question. What are addressed to your companions and sent to the post office? Letters. You know, if Paracarry is the one delivering the letters and it's Paracarry that loses all the letters, who's delivering the letters to our companions? Are they like hand, hand carrying themselves? The I don't know. That's a good question. Question. Among the following, which building is not in Toe Town? I think that's that normally would be a tough one. I think because you probably don't know, but you're not paying attention, but it's definitely the mayor's house. There's no mayor in Toe Town. It's a city ruled by a queen, or a princess, rather. Anyway, question. What kind of book did Gourmet Guy drop? That is a cooking book. It's probably one of the easiest questions ever. Question. Who am I? Who am I? That's a kind of a existential question, isn't there? Isn't it? I don't know, you're some kind of weird worm guy. Uh, I like these though, Sir Quisby and IQ Testa. Uh, <laughs> yes, you are Chuck Quizmo. You are correct, Mario. It is I, Chuck Quizmo. All right, we got more to go. Question, where do I show up? That's what a random question, dude. Um, in the jail, <laughs> in towns and villages, uh, on the streets sometimes too, but mostly in towns and villages. Okay. I wonder if he's just running out of questions to ask us. Question, what is the name of the plant that grows in the jade jungle and blows out stars? This could be a tricky one. Um, it's the trumpet plant, though. Okay, let's keep doing this. Question. What color was the leader of Yoshi's village? Green, of course. Would have been better if he was blue. But, I mean, green is the most traditional Yoshi color. Question. What is the name of the elderly man who tells fortunes in Toe Town? This one can be kind of tricky if you don't follow uh, these guys very much, but it is Merlon. Question. How many colors of Yoshis did you see in Yoshi Village? Uh, this can be a tricky one as well, but the correct answer is six. All right, another star piece. Uh, you've correctly answered 50 questions so far. I think there are two more that we can do uh, in this uh, chunk. So let's go ahead and I think it's two more. But we'll find out, won't we? Question. How would the Yoshis, how would the Yoshi kids in Yoshi's village describe sushi? Definitely bossy. Alright, I think, like I said, I think we have one more. 
Uh, and uh, that'll be it for Chuck Quizmo for now. Question. What building is across from the Toad Town Post Office? And that is Merlon's house. That is correct. And that'll put us at 52, I believe. Let's find out. Yeah, 52 Chuck Quizmo questions so far. We only have 12 left because there are 64 of them. That puts us right now at a whopping 45 star pieces, which is pretty good. Um, we could probably go buy some more badges from uh, the little fella at... Uh, uh, I don't remember his name. Merlon? One of the little Mer Merle guys. But um, I'm actually not going to do that. I'm actually going to cut it here. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to progress the story. But before we do that, I am going to fight what is considered probably the most dangerous bad guy in the entire game. One of the most brutal, tough, difficult notoriously hard bad guys to fight in the entire game and you'll see Colorado is standing right here he was supposed to go meet his wife but he's still standing here so why is he standing here who is this mysterious enemy that we'll be fighting find out next time on Paper Mario thank you for watching this episode and I'll see you then